Hello, everybody. I'm David L. Levy. I'm a lawyer, but don't hold that against me. <laughs> right? There are some good lawyers, right? Uh, I head the Children's Rights Council, a global children's advocacy organization. Who's heard of the Children's Rights Council? All right, some hands there. Our motto, our federally trademarked motto, is the best parent is both parents. Bikers, bicyclists, Larry, Bill, hey guys, dynamite. Very moving stories. You know what you need to do with those stories? Make them into one page. Send them, gentlemen, please uh, send them to your House member and senators. Have you ever done that? <clears throat> be polite, be brief. Anybody else who has a story? They hear lots of stories about financial child support. They don't hear stories about emotional child support. You know what that is? You know, you're a CRC. You heard of CRC, parenting. They don't hear from us. Make it one page and then fax it. You don't write letters to Congress by snail mail after 9-11. It takes weeks and weeks for security to let that letter through. You call your House member or your U.S. Senators and get their fax number. Not hard. Start getting letters in. We're, we're too alone out here. If we get more letters in, who knows, next year maybe a House member may come out and speak. How many people have ever written to their House member or Senators? Or one, two, three, four, five. Did you get a response? What did they say? What? Spin you off. So write another letter. You're a constituent, you're a registered voter, right? Right again. Be polite. Ask for a meeting with a staff member. Be polite, bring a woman along. They want to know, really? <laughs> they want to know what women think about social and family issues. I try to bring a woman along when I meet on the hill. And I meet on the hill fairly often. That's just part of the lobbying efforts. Our Children's Rights Council has helped pass joint custody laws in many states now. We in our chapters around the country. There's now a presumption for joint custody in one form or another, legal or physical or both. Right, Ron Greenall? Right, Jim Semerad? Jim Semerad. Ron Greenall, there's a presumption for joint custody in 38 states in Washington, D.C. In, in, it's listed right in this newsletter, right here that's free with the green cover from Children's Rights Council. Now that doesn't mean it's easy for you to get joint custody in those states. Right. Because many judges just don't follow it. New Jersey has a fairly strong joint custody statute, but uh, Bruce Eaton and, and others point out that the judges aren't following that law, but it's on the books. In many states, they are giving more shared parenting now than they did 20 years ago. We know that from our talks with, with advocates around the country. But there's a long way to go. We know that. And your efforts are helping. I'm glad you're moving ahead in Pennsylvania. I testified a couple of times up there in Harrisburg. And I'm glad you're introducing the, the bill again in, in Pennsylvania for joint custody. There's been mention of removal of children from the home. We know that happens. Nobody's against foster care. Nobody's against CPS. But there's a tendency to remove a child in the middle of the night based upon an unfounded accusation. And when that happens too often, CPS does not try to reach other members of the family, the father, or the grandparents, or the aunt, or the uncle, to try to keep the child into the family fabric. That's partly because CPS officials are overworked. It's also because there's financial incentive from the federal government for adoption and foster care and from the states. Again, foster care is fine, but it not, must not be a substitute for keeping the child in the family network. So I applaud you for the work you're doing to try to bring attention to that problem. Uh, the Children's Rights Council is on the website at www.crckids.org. I suggest you plug in with us or some other group. It's okay, any other group you want to plug in with. Uh, uh, ACFC, NPCL. You know what ACFC is? American Coalition for Fathers and Children. Are you all members of that group? How many members of ACFC are here? How many members of CRC are here? You're going, you're going through all this alone, right? Are you a member of any other group? How about, how about 
I actually called uh, well, the Mothers Group, Bronx Story Mothers Group out of Florida that's affiliated with Children's Rights Council. Are you a member of that group? We're going through this all alone, folks. That's not organization. Our opposition is organized. They join coalitions. They give 50 bucks or 100 bucks. They know the fuel of, the, the fuel of political organization is money. You ever hear of uh, Emily's List? Emily's List. It funds women's candidates. Emily's, the word Emily stands for early money is like yeast. Right, Ron? Early money is like yeast. They know the money goes in only in the campaign, and they produce more women candidates for office. How many people have run for office here? Ron Grignall has, and tell me what's your name. What have you run for? Good, good for you. Good for you. Run again, if you can stand it. It's, it's difficult. But uh, I applaud everything you're doing and urge you to keep organizing your states, keep working, and write those letters, careful, well thought out letters, carefully typed, neat, don't attack women, don't attack the politicians, you're asking for their help. To listen to your stories, we need to open more of a dialogue, more conversation. And if you write them a polite letter, and you keep doing it, and get some other people involved, we'll get some positive responses, and have some meetings too, with those congressional staff. Even back in your hometown, there's a congressional staff, local office in your area where you live. You don't have to come to Washington. See anybody you can. Good luck and thank you very much.